Now in this part of the question then, we're asked to solve this quadratic inequality. So to solve quadratic inequality, first of all, I need to factorise it. So what we'd have is a couple of brackets, like so, put the less than zero on the end. We'd have a k in the front of each bracket, and then just by looking at this I can see that that's minus 4 and plus 8. If you work that out, you'll see that you get k squared plus 4k minus 32. Now what we need to do is find the critical values for k. That's the values of k that would make this equal 0. So we just put that down, that therefore the critical values okay, for k um, are when essentially that bracket k minus 4 equals 0 or when the other bracket equals 0 so that's k plus 8 equals 0. Solving each of these for k gives k equaling 4 or k equaling negative 8. Now that I've got these critical values what I'm going to do is draw a sketch of the graph of y equals k squared plus 4k minus 32. So I just draw that over here. We'll have our axes like so. Remember that if we're sketching the graph of y equals k squared plus 4k minus 32, then this axis isn't the x-axis, it's a k-axis. So I'm going to then sketch this graph, the graph of y equals k squared plus 4k minus 32. And if I do that, the critical values, k equals 4 and minus 8, would be along here. Let's say that this is negative 8 and this is 4. Now we've got a positive k squared term, so it's going to be a u-shaped parabola. So it's going to come down through the minus 8 and then back up through the 4. So we've got something like that. And so, therefore, where do we find values of k which make this expression here less than zero, negative in other words? They are values that are below the k-axis. They're the values between minus 8 and 4. So we want all of these values along here. So to summarize, then, we could say that from the graph, we can see that k must lie between minus 8 and 4. And we can write that as k is in between minus 8 and 4. And that brings us to the end of this part of the question.